Please, can you tell us about your wedding? I want a champagne wedding, but on a longer budget. I can't believe this is someone's Tash. wedding day. I can't Tash. believe it's someone's wedding day. Tash. It's awful. One of the most important things is that it's local and sustainable. If things can be reused or repurposed. Sustainability is becoming increasingly more important across the whole wedding industry. And of course, what's good for the planet is also going to be good for the budget. I'll negotiate when we're at the tell. See if we can get a wee bit of a bargain. Do you drive a hard bargain? No, I'm a complete soft touch, but I'll try. All right. I mean, you can do that. <laughs> <laughs> this is a scary one. Take off a zero, or we ain't coming back. <laughs> Eleven sixty-seven thirty-four. With the free delivery. With the free delivery. Deliver with a smile. <laughs> no. We're looking for scale and ambition and wow moments, and in our industry we call them statement pieces. So I want our guests to go up to these statement pieces, Instagram them, and put them out. Cheers. <laughs> smile. Unbelievable. This is the best we've had so far in all the weddings. And I've been here like two minutes and I've already had like two Instagrammable moment photo shoot opportunities. I love crafting, but you've got to remember that things take an awful lot longer to make and to source all of those materials than what they would to buy. So you need to be realistic about just what's going to be achievable. Oh, it's scary when you realise the amount of work that there is to do. This takes hours finding all the stuff just to create your piece of art. So we were making a vignette out on the balcony and these umbrellas are beautiful, but they were like £300 to buy. So we bought these in, £25, and then the fringe was like £6. And we're going to make our own ones. There's a cheaper alternative. The arrival was what time? The, they, they didn't say when the guests arrived. So I've just, I have got that. Just check it. So the ceremony is two till three. So oh, it's guests, two o'clock, the ceremony. So the ceremony's three. at two. No, sorry, I need, okay. it. I, need, I need it. So with regards to the ceremony itself, what are the experience team doing in those two areas then? We are creating the ceremony area. Isn't um, Yasmin decorating the ceremony? Oh. Are the animals part of the wedding? I'm hoping to ride my horse to the aisle yeah. if he lets me get on him with yeah, my wedding with dress wedding on. Dress. And then we have a very special little guest, don't we, who is my pygmy goat. So she will come down the aisle wearing our wedding rings. The worst that will happen is the goat eats the rings or she runs off with them to the woods. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh my god, the horse just peed. I need to, I need another glass for a second, oh, sorry. I know it's quite unusual, but we've got a common interest of like aviation and plane spotting. What elevates an ordinary wedding to an extraordinary one is the attention to detail. We noticed the, the aisle. Yeah, the aisle in the ceremony were our story and then the ending was us. The them. paper aeroplanes as well. Yeah, the paper aeroplanes were, were a nice <laughs> touch as well. I Me. can't believe my luck. Cause An I, equal weirdo. <laughs> It's really important to have a beautiful finale, a full-on extravaganza, something that your guests will remember when they leave. So a well-coordinated grand finale is key to ensuring the wedding ends with a bang. Yeah.